With its lighter weight, lower cost, reduced maintenance, and easier installation, it's obvious why PVC electrical pipe has become a major part of the electrical infrastructure worldwide. As the largest manufacturer of PVC electrical conduit in the US, Cantex offers extensive inventories of PVC pipe for all electrical pipe applications. Backed by over 60 years of experience manufacturing quality American-made PVC electrical products. Cantex manufactures Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 PVC pipe, direct burial and encased burial PVC utility conduit, ENT electrical non-metallic tubing, liquid tight conduit, telephone conduit, horizontal directional drilling conduit, and flexible utility duct. While PVC conduit is known for durability and high tensile strength, it is also much lighter than metal piping, making it easier to handle and install in any job site. And since PVC is a non-corrosive and non-conductive compound, it is ideal for easily maintained electrical pipe installations. Cantex also manufactures all necessary installation fittings and elbows for each type of electrical conduit. While Cantex offers several types of conduit for multiple applications, this video focuses on the installation of Schedule 40, Schedule 80, direct burial, and encased burial conduit, which have very similar installation processes. Both Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 pipe are designed for underground usage, as well as above ground applications. According to the NEC, both Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 conduit are suitable for above ground usage where they may be exposed to sunlight and weather. However, only the thicker Schedule 80 is suitable for usage where it may be exposed to excessive physical damage. Schedule 80 is often used for underground applications like under roadways where pipe may possibly be exposed to more severe compaction requirements and possible damage. Always be sure to check NEC guidelines as well as all regional electrical guidelines before installing any PVC electrical product. Both Schedule 40 and Schedule 80 conduit can be buried directly in the dirt or encased in cement. When installing Cantex Schedule 40 or 80 pipe in dirt, a crew begins by digging a trench for the conduit. Next, rows of pipes are placed in the trench. In between each row of pipe, the belled end of the conduit gets cemented to the straight end. If the pipe has been cut, a reamer tool must be used to remove burrs or debris before cementing. Once the pipe is smooth, the correct type of Cantex cement gets applied to the inside of the belled end and the outside of the spigot or straight end of the conduit with a dauber. Next, the pipe is twisted slightly to secure it. Process is repeated every 10 to 20 feet depending upon the length of the conduit. Once all of the runs of conduit are in place and properly connected, the crews fill the trench with dirt. When Cantex Schedule 40 or 80 conduit is encased in cement, the process begins the same as the direct burial process. The crew digs the trench. However, when a crew is encasing Schedule 40 or 80 pipe in cement, after digging is completed, Cantex PVC spacers must be placed in rows in the trench. The amount of spacers depend upon how many rows of conduit are being installed. The trade size of the spacers to be used and the required separation needed between the spacers must follow the NEC 70 requirements according to the size of the pipe. NEC spacer requirements are available in the Cantex full product line catalog. After the pipe is inserted above the spacers, the rows of Cantex intermediate spacers are connected to the base spacers for every row of pipe. Cantex spacers have a locking mechanism for an easy and secure connection. Watch how easily they lock together. The entire installation process needs to be repeated for every 10 to 20 feet, depending upon the length of the conduit. Once again, Cantex cement needs to be applied with a dauber between each run. Once all of the runs of conduit are in place and properly connected, the crew fills the trench with cement. PVC elbows are often used to redirect the conduit underground or above ground, since there are many above ground uses for Schedule 40 and 80 PVC conduit for both residential and commercial applications. Cantex manufactures all types of PVC fittings needed for stubbing up Schedule 40 and 80 conduit into pool boxes or attaching to other electrical devices. Direct burial or DB utility duct conduit is designed for the power and communication industry to protect underground cables and raceways. It is designed to be used in direct burial, in dirt, or concrete encased burial applications. Encased burial conduit functions as a concentric tunnel inside concrete for pulling cable through later in the installation process. The direct burial process for DB conduit in dirt is the same as it is for Schedule 40 and 80 conduit. The crew digs a trench and places the rows of conduit. Encased burial utility conduit is not used in dirt. Once all of the direct burial pipe runs are in place and connected properly with Cantex cement, the crews fill the trench with dirt. Although the direct burial application is very much the same as it is for Schedule 40 and 80 conduit and direct burial pipe, there are some differences in backfill requirements and performance capabilities. For example, smoother select fill dirt would be used as a backfill and there are no above ground applications for direct burial conduit. 
so the ends of the DB conduit runs are directed to approved electrical termination points. Once again, the process for encasing direct burial and encased burial in cement is basically the same as the cement encasement process for the Schedule 40 and 85. The process begins with the crew digging the trench, and once the trench is completed, the amount of spacers coordinates with how many rows of conduit are being installed. The rows of Cantex intermediate spacers are connected for every row of pipe. See the Cantex full product line catalog for determining the NEC 70 spacer trade size and separation requirements for your conduit. Once again, the entire installation process needs to be repeated for every 10 or 20 feet, depending upon the length of the conduit. Once more, Cantex cement needs to be applied with a dauber in between each run. Once all of the runs of conduit are in place and properly connected, the crew fills the trench with cement and the ends of the pipe are directed into approved electrical termination points. If you want to learn more about Cantex PVC conduit, elbows, electrical boxes, or fittings, visit cantexinc.com.